So what we do here is we look for new materials, we look for new ways to develop the technology that take us beyond silicon, that will take us beyond the way we're computing now to sort of the next century. Uh, one of the tools we use to do this process is called the helium ion microscope. And what that is, it's a machine that allows you to image and process um, materials at the same time. So we use this machine, which we call the atomic scale sand blaster, to work with this uh, copper indium thiophosphate material, which is a layered material, very much like graphene, to sort of see what we can do to extend beyond silicon. And we are hoping that this is a technology that will take us forward. Well, some of these materials that we're working on are called two-dimensional materials, so 2D materials. And the benefit of 2D materials over what we're currently using is that they're a lot lighter. It's like having, instead of a bulk, thick piece of materials, you have these very, very thin sheets. And so you can stack them one on top of the other. So you imagine a battery for your cell phone and how thick it is. Now you can shrink that down. It could be much smaller, much lighter. So you have the longer lifetime, and yet the weight of it's going down down and the power consumption. The same thing can be said for other energy storage uh, devices um, like fuel cells or even things like photovoltaics where again you don't want to have these big chunky devices on your roof taking up a lot of space. You want something very small and light that you can put anywhere and carry around and still get the same conversion and storage efficiency.